Hello everyone. So in this video we are going to start with our first practical about the Azure Data Factory pipeline. So in this video we will be having one of the business use case. Through, through business use case we will try to understand what is the activity we are going to do and in real world also we try to do, we try to follow in a similar way. Okay, so in previous video we have seen like how actually we can create a storage account and how actually we can create a data factory. Okay, now let us start with how actually we can create a data pipeline in a Azure data factory. So we will start with our first practical that is a blob to blob data pipeline means we will try to understand the copy activity first. Okay, so we have one of the business use case. Okay, so let us try to understand that. So we have a data that is coming from external resources. So suppose you are working in a one organization from there you are getting a data from a different external resources. Okay, mostly what happen is like you are getting a data from a different resources like it can be a transaction resource, it can be a application data, it can be any other data logs files and all. So what actually happen generally we try to store into a common space. So what actually happening data coming from external store and it is getting stored into our input blob storage. Okay, so as of now what actually we will take, we will take in Azure blob storage one container, input container, there we will try to store one Excel file. Okay, so our data is coming into Azure blob storage and what actually we have to do, we have requirement that we want to copy a data on a daily basis from an input container to the other blob container. Okay, so the data which is coming into Azure blob, right, that this data is coming into a CSV format and that we have to create a pipeline and we have to transfer a data from one blob to the another blob and we have to store the data into a JSON format. So that is the one requirement which we are going to do based on this requirement we will try to create a pipeline. Okay, I hope you understand the requirement. Okay, now let me open my uh, Azure account. So this is my Azure account. What actually I had done, I have created a storage account and the data factory. Okay. So if you haven't seen my previous video, please do watch how to create a storage account and the data factory. Once you'll create, click on the data storage, go to the container. So in this container, I have created two. One is the input, one is the output. Okay. So this is the two folder. As of now, there is no file available here. Okay. What actually I will do? I will try to upload one file here. Okay. So I'll click on the upload. I will try to upload one file. Okay. So what actually I will do? I will click on the employ one file and click on the upload. So this is the CSV file. Okay. This is uploaded successfully. You can see we have uploaded the file into our input container, but the output container, there is no file here. The data will store into a JSON format that will come from our data factory. Okay. And I have created a data factory studio. In previous video, I have shown you how to create a data factory. Okay. So what actually we have to do? This is the home button. We have to click on the author and click on this pipeline. Once you click on this pipeline here, we have option like new pipeline, pipeline from template and new folder. Click on the new pipeline. Okay. Once you click on the pipeline here, you can see we have a different kind of the activity. One is the move and transfer. One is the first is the copy data and the data flow and similarly for the synapse for the azure data explorer azure function batch service data bricks similarly we have a different kind of the scenario okay so we will start one by one so we are starting with the copy data active so what actually we are going to do we are going to transfer from one azure block to the another block so what actually i will do i will try to drag it okay you just have to drag it here okay once you drag it you can See, these are the options which is coming. Source, sync, mapping, setting, and the user property. And this is the copy data. Okay, click on the source. If you want to give change this copy data any name, uh, you can change it. Let me give the blob to blob. Okay, once you will give, it will appear here, blob to blob. Okay, click here. So now let us try to uh, click on the source. So what actually it is saying that create a data set. Okay, so what actually happen whenever you try to create a pipeline is like so the it follows the similar way. So we are performing a copy activity, right? So first we have to create a data set. Data set is nothing but what is your file? Okay, what is your file? If it is a CSV file and all, okay. And after creating a data set, we will try to create a link service. Link service with link service is nothing but a connection we will try to create a connection with our source so if it is a blob storage so we have to create a connection with the blob storage our source account if it is a if it is a sql so then we have to create a 
connection with the SQL account. Okay, so the link service is nothing but a connection data set is nothing but it will point out to the our particular file. Okay, so what actually we will do? We will click on the create a new data set. If you will click on the new, then you can see we have a different kind of the option with different kind of the source you can select. So what actually I will try to do? I will try to select on the Azure Blob Store because our source is Blob Store. Click on this. Click on the continue. Then you have to specify the format whether it is IRO, binary, delimited text, Excel, JSON, ORC, XML, Parquet. So what actually we will do? We will try to select the because it is a CSV format. So I will select the delimited text. Click on the continue. After that, if you have we have to create a link service. You can see the link service, right? If you want to specify the name, you can specify the name your data set. We can see the blo uh, blob storage something you can give storage data set something. Okay, uh, link service. I will try to create a connection. So we have seen right uh, the we are going to create a connection with our source. So the name is the Azure blob storage one that is fine. Integration runtime is the auto resolve by default. Authentication type is the account key, but you have a different kind of the thing like through SS, SAS, URI, that's different type of login you can do, but we are going to use account type only. Okay, Azure subscription you have to select. After that, the storage account. So, this is the storage account I have created, but you can have a multiple storage account. So, based on your uh, storage, you can select that. Okay, once you do that, check the connection. Because this connection will say like whether you, it is connecting successfully or not. Okay, you can see connection is successful. Click on the create. Once you will click on the create, your link service will get created. Okay, so what is our link service name? Azure Blob Storage One. This is created now. Now the second is a file path. Where actually our file is? So click on this browse button. Our file is located into input folder. So select the EMP file. Okay, click on the OK. Once you selected the EMP.csv. It is asking like first row is header or not. So I will select like first row as a header. Click on the OK. Once you do that, you can see in a source your data set is now ready. If you want to preview the data, click on the preview data. You can see this is the particular file we have. We have employee ID, name, and the salary. Now this is available in a CSV format. So our source is now ready. Now go to the sync. Sync is nothing but a your target location. So where actually you want to store? We want to store into a output location right so that is our source so for that what actually we will do we will try to create one more data set so that is click on the new go to the blob storage okay click on the continue uh, which format we want to store we want to store into a json format to select that format click on the continue and create a link service either you can use the same link service because uh, both are pointing to the same storage or you can create a new let us try to create a new storage as of now click on the subscription Click on your blob storage account, check the connection, click on the create. Okay, once you do that, once you will do that, uh, it is link service is now created. Now here, where actually you want to store, we want to store into output. So we will select only the folder. Okay, and click on the OK. So our output source is now ready, our input data set is also ready. Now. What actually we have to do and go to the mapping here, uh, here uh, you will get to see all the import schema. Okay. Uh, like if you want to do any kind of the mapping and all that also you can do. If I'll click on the import schema. Okay. So uh, this is particular thing is uh, coming. Uh, what actually we have to do? Uh, just let's delete this. Okay. Uh, uh, let me go to the setting. Once source is ready, okay. What actually we have to do? You can see here we have option like the publish all. Click on the publish all. Once you will click on the publish all, whatever the things you have done, right? That we have to save. Otherwise, it will not be saved. First, you have to publish it. So I click on the publish. You can see from the notification the publishing is in progress. Okay. Once it will get published, we will try to run the pipeline. Okay, so there are two type of type of the scenario. Either you can run manually or either you can run through a a trigger okay you can see now publish is completed click on the close now if you can see here we have option like the add trigger click on that trigger you can see we have a trigger now trigger now means if you want to run this now a new and edit if you will do here through which you can actually schedule it 
okay when you want to run you want to run man uh, weekly monthly manually which particular time that actually everything you can do that actually we will try to see later but as of now what actually we will do we will try to trigger now and we will try to see whether it's running properly or now click on the trigger now click on the ok what actually it will do it will try to it, you can see it is running ok if you want to monitor it go to this monitor window okay. click on this monitor ok now whatever the pipeline is running right this is the pipeline one we have created and you can see the details like it is a manual trigger and the status is in progress so it is started running ok once it will complete we will be able to see our data you can see the status is succeed click on the refresh button you can see the status is now succeed what actually we will do we will try to go to the our blob storage in our output folder ok file should be there you can see imply1.json file is available how it is coming it is coming through a, uh, our pipeline ok previously no file was there now click on the snapshot uh, ok you can see this is the particular file which is now available if you click on the edit so our the csv file got converted into a json format and it got saved ok ok so here we have option like the download if you even if you want to download you can download from here ok so yeah so that's it in this video so we are able to successfully transfer our data from one blob storage to another blob